West Coast Custom Rail Speeder here. So, tell us a little bit about this unit. It's obviously all aluminum. All aluminum frame, uh, original uh, rims that were off of an ore cart, machined down with new centers, uh, bearings, and uh, here we have uh, this framework right here goes down onto the railroad tracks with a linear electric linear actuator that lifts the cart off the rail tracks and then there is a bearing to be able to spin it around 180 degrees that's how you turn it around uh, and that's on a remote fob you just stand there push the button and you can turn it around that way uh, it's in the by pushing this button up or down raises that frame to be able to lift the cart. Uh, the seats are suspension seats from uh, for a forklift or whatever so you have cushioning up and down. We have a tool, extra tool storage here, a spare chain, a spare belt drive and a little bit of extra gas. In a Less than a gallon of gas, you're good for probably 30 miles on or more on like two thirds of a gallon. And the engine is uh... the engine is a Honda clone, six and a half horsepower, with a, a mini bike style uh, torque converter drive, driving a chain down to the dual rear wheels. And then I also adapted it later on, uh, so we have four all-wheel drive with a chain running up the side through this UHMW to another set of sprockets with the tensioner. So if you get into a situation where you're going up a hill, or a steep grade, and if the, it's a little bit greasy or slick, you've got lots of power to be able to drive it. Perfect. And what kind of range with the fuel capacity? Can you talk about how much fuel it burns? Uh, that, well, this little tank right here would give you about 30 miles an hour, or 30 miles. Really? Yeah. Or so more. Probably if, if about got more a like 40. A couple of four liter jugs, yeah. you'd go all day then. Basically. Wow. Yeah. Very That's fuel efficient. No friction yeah. at all, eh? No. This is your choke here and then the throttle so you can just pull the throttle out and set it for whatever speed your top speed is 20 miles an hour is that which right is plenty fast enough seems like it yeah yeah and so and the control the foot controls here now Foot controls are a dual brake so you can run it from either seat and then of course as in the video we do have an extra seat for a third passenger third, three There's people can ride on this plenty of power actually okay. i've had up to uh well four three adults and a young child or whatever nice you know a, like a teenager on so there talk well. about the weight what's the overall weight uh, the do you overall suppose? weight is somewhere around 300 to 350 pounds really yeah. looks that's pretty light based on all the aluminum so the whole thing is aluminum there's no other metal really in uh, the just, frame or just the wheels just the and wheels. the axles yeah. and the wheels again are antique wheels they are yeah they were off an original uh, orc coal uh, cart really carrying coal wow they were very thick and then I was able you know this part right here the rim was about three quarters of an inch thick and the original axle was like four inches of solid steel so I just cut these the center out of the rim and only used this part and then made new centers and new hubs and all the all the mechanical parts were purchased from Princess Auto the motor the sprockets, mm -hmm. which is basically the equivalent to um, in the states to Harbor Freight. Right. You know, they sell all the same products. So this, and you've got a custom fab little storage box here, right. which holds tools, gasoline, everything's contained. Then we've also got the beer cooler or whatever refreshment cooler. And then something interesting here, I see you got a hitch on here, like what's the dealio with that? Uh, I do have a trailer uh, that you can tow behind for camping gear, but I was actually hoping to keep that for, because I've built another one of these. As so well. it is possible though to, to, to pull a, a wagon, which is Definitely, great, yeah. impressive. That's great. Okay, so we got clutch, centrifugal clutch drive to chains, 
to shaft and it's a it's essentially a four-wheel drive four -wheel whale, drive, rail yeah. cart so so that's unique and lighting front and back all the lights are functional so this thing really needs nothing then it's good to go on a journey today incredible we got I see some rubber flaps now these are just to clean the track or? yeah if there's any little rocks or branches or whatever those will flick them out of the way for the wheels before you drive over them right because yeah. often these are run on decommissioned tracks and right. there's up some debris right right some debris right. so that's taken care of there that's a cool little innovation standard rail gauge is 66, 66 inches, inches uh, in inside I believe so th this in Canada and the United States this would fit on any modern relatively modern track so overall width is uh, sixty two inches wide yeah. and eighty inches long sixty two wide and eighty inches long aluminum so it's super light and you're saying there it's less than half the weight of those other ones I would think so yeah, yeah and and the build quality on this one is extremely high because it's all hand fabricated out of aluminum and basically the amount of hours you would have taken in the building would have been phenomenal right well, like, over over a, a three-year period and right refinements you know it, originally it never had the suspension seats it didn't have the hydraulic uh, linear actuator lifting system. Uh, I just had a, a screw jack for right, a Right, I remember that. Yeah, trailer, yeah, which yeah. was pretty bulky. So basically, you're going one direction and you're turning around, you're pushing a button, lifting it up, spinning it around, and you're back going the other way in like four or five minutes. Correct. Yeah, so that's pretty slick. There's no real heavy lifting, yeah. there's no big worries. And, you could get it off. And, and this cart has over the period of three or four years probably had about 500 miles. 500 on. yeah 500 miles and it's it's basically been trouble free that yeah. whole time right is there any maintenance you have to do like uh, is greasing of anything uh, the bearings uh, lubricating the chain and yeah know, in the winter time uh, stay bill in the fuel or draining the gas out sure of it but it basically it's just right. it's very simple maintenance wise yeah. so like um, the other thing can you talk about like when you go to, to set out and set this on the tracks like is it it because it's so light that's a huge advantage right it is uh, it you know a person would need a custom trailer you know to be able to something to yeah it but it could be hauled on any yeah. little light utility that's, trailer that's really right. yeah. so you're not really looking at any kind of a trailer just the cheapest little